Since the Weber 3236 carburetor is not an emissions approved carburetor for California, we will be removing most of the emissions on this engine. Step 1. Buy a genuine Weber carb kit from LCEPerformance.com Disconnect the negative battery cable. We remove the gas cap to eliminate fuel line pressure. Remove factory air filter assembly and all attaching hardware and hoses. In this installation of the carburetor, we will only need one vacuum line, and that will go to the outer chamber of the distributor. You can remove the electro valve bracket assembly as a unit, ensuring the vacuum lines remain on the valves in order to facilitate reinstallation of the stock carburetor if you ever wish to do so. To keep the install as clean as possible, we will be removing the steel lines that run between the carburetor and the valve cover. Remove the fuel lines and disconnect the throttle from the stock carburetor. Loosen the four mounting bolts and remove the stock carburetor along with the phenolic heat spacer. One item that will not get removed is the charcoal canister as that serves for a venting for the fuel tank. Full nut method for stud removal. Remove the EGR delivery pipe that connects the EGR system to the intake manifold. Loosen the throttle cable quadrant assembly and set aside for later use in this install. In this case, we opt to block off the EGR. We are using the LC Engineering EGR block off plate kit number 1016009. This gives us the one plate for the back of the head to block off. The manifold plate is going to be used in the installation, so we can't block that off. Clean both carburetor and EGR mounting surfaces on the intake manifold. Install the V-shaped throttle lever on the new carburetor. Do not over tighten the nut and be sure to use a locking washer. Install the carburetor two-piece adapter supplied by Weber. Coat the manifold base gasket with a light coating of lithium grease. Install the bottom adapter flange with the widest portion towards the passenger side fender. Use the 8mm countersunk Allen bolts torqued to 12 foot-pounds. Coat the intermediate gasket with lithium grease also. Use the four 6mm cap screws to attach the top plate with the gasket to the adapter bottom plate and tighten to 6 foot-pounds. Note, for 4x4 Toyota trucks, use the two spacers that are supplied to raise the position of the original throttle quadrant for a better alignment with the carburetor. Install the 8mm studs hand tight using Loctite. Set the carburetor mounting gasket over the studs, lightly coat with lithium grease also. With the linkage towards the rear of the vehicle, install the carburetor in position. Tighten the securing nuts. Check for the proper linkage and operation correct if necessary. When all the operations are insured correctly, tighten the nuts to 12 foot-pounds on the carburetor. Loosely mount the stock throttle quadrant assembly. Rotate the throttle cable into the groove around the quadrant and attach Complete final tightening of the quadrant assembly. Check for cable binding from idle to wide open throttle. Position and correct as necessary. Reroute original PVC hose from the PVC valve on the valve cover to the manifold EGR plate mounted. The fuel pressure regulator and gauge kit are sold separately. Part number 103-5056.
Start the engine. After starting the engine, check for vacuum leaks around the carburetor mounting base and correct if necessary. Using a carburetor spray cleaner, you can spray around the base and if the idle picks up, you know you've got a vacuum leak. Since the Weber's only will run on three pounds or less of fuel pressure. Connect the vacuum advance hose from the bottom fitting on the distributor vacuum canister. Route that to the outside chamber on the distributor. You may decide to use a new piece of hose for this. We did. Uh, connect the idle cutoff valves and electric choke to any ignition activated electrical source or original wiring harness that can be cut off the stock carburetor. Connect new fuel line using hose and clamps supplied. You should still be running a stock fuel filter from Toyota under the manifold or on the frame rail. In this case we are using a digital timing light that has RPM in it to set the idle on a manual transmission vehicle that is 700 RPM automatic transmission vehicle 750 in this case we did set it up to be 750 on this manual transmission vehicle if the engine has a poor idle or will not idle at all shut off the engine and reset the idle by setting the idle speed screw to one and a half turns in maximum contact with the throttle lever. The mixture screw after lightly seating it comes out two turns. To install the air filter assembly use the gasket and then put the base plate of the air cleaner bolting down with the supplied bolts. Put the filter on and then the new cover using the supplied clips. You may plumb the bottom of the air filter to the valve cover vent in this case we will be using the k n front valve cover breather. We supply it as a kit, part number 303-5040, available on lceperformance.com.